picked out a public enemy, I'm still here. And I want to let the motherfuckers know I'm still standing and I'm going to be here. Mm. How proud are you of that? That uh, some may say it's been attempts on your life, uh, spiritually, physically, uh, obviously being kicked out of public enemy financially, and, and, and you're still standing. W- what do you tell those those men and women that say, we, we tried, but we failed? Well, you know something, grown men, man, have came and hugged me and cried, man. It says, you know something? I could see that. They like, bro, I, I admire you, man, because you ain't out ripping and running, acting crazy, doing foolish stuff on drugs, drinking, trying to chase behind, you know, um, Becky Asser flat and the rest of the, I, you not doing none of that. You still, you still public enemy, man. Right. And I say, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So yes. I wouldn't say I'm proud of it. I would like to say the ancestors are speaking to me from within me. Mm. And I'm not trying to sound super deep, bro. Trust me, I'm not. You got the right audience. The only way that I could put that, man, the ancestors speak to me from within me. We are our ancestors. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So if if, if I said it or put it in a meme, maybe people will understand it better. Or I wore the t shirt or the bumper sticker, maybe people would understand. But if I said, I am, I have the spirit, I channel the spirit of Yah Satiwa. I channel the spirit of the Mao Mao, the Zulu. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. I channel the spirit of Fred Hampton Sr. Say it again. You understand what I'm saying? I, I channel Malcolm's spirit, and, I, and I'm here to demonstrate to these people. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? That I'm going to check out here in my own good time. Plain and simple. So don't think that they ain't tried, bro. They they tried. And I don't I don't feel good about, you know, mm. within arm's reach. Mm. There's three or four firearms around me. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. I'm in a basement fucking bunker. <laughs> like no nobody li- like living like that. Uh. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. I got brothers that I know that you know either part of the militia or the FOI doing drive-bys past my house to check on me, man. Make sure I'm good. You understand what I'm saying? Who yeah. wants to live like that, bro? Mm. Don't nobody want to live like that. You understand what I'm saying? But I have to because these people have tried to take my life before. Yeah. Terrence Bailey said, we need 500 more like you. Um, Terrence, we need like two times 500. I need a thousand brothers, man. And I'll, I'll tell you one thing, the DLUs yeah. of the world will never in their fucking life utter another fucking word like that. Well, you okay, know, we'll, we'll checkmate that, bro. I'm glad you said that because at the beginning of this pan, at the beginning of this pandemic epidemic, you call it plandemic. Uh, well, scamdemic, but go ahead. Scamdemic, scamdemic. Uh, I, I reached out and wanted a hundred men. See, I, I don't live in an open carry state, you know, al- although I have weapons, I don't live in an open carry state. So we can't like walk around the street with them and, and you know, do what we do. But I think a hundred men, if we had a hundred men in these, in these cities strong, and, and that would be the term, obviously it could be more. Uh, um, I think we can do a lot, you know, and, yep. and I'm on board, like in, in terms of, I, um, I live in Los Angeles. So if if you have arms reach in Los Angeles, I'm shit. I'm so on board with that shit, man. And, and you know what I was thinking too when you was mentioned um uh, um Fred Hampton and Malcolm X. I got Malcolm X pictures all in my Malcolm X is like my my super duper hero. I just interviewed Il- Il- Yasha last week. Mm, okay. And uh uh how cool is that that without a doubt you would have been a part of Malcolm X and or Fred Hampton Senior's think tank. How sp- how cool is that? Oh yeah, that's 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 a beautiful thing. Man. Oh, you would have, dog. It's, 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 you would have known. Actually, I'm I'm gonna go a step deeper. You and Malcolm, what what Nick Cannon was pretending to be with you, that would have been you and Malcolm in real life in real time. Mm. I think Nick Cannon's a fraud, but I'm just saying it for real and real like. Mm. I, I think you and Malcolm would have been dangerous. Well, let me, let me just say this. Yeah. I can't uh-huh. let that. You shot that arrow out of that bow, and I can't let that go by me. I tried to snatch it. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. I don't think brother's a fraud. Okay, sure, and that's fine. The, the two days that I spent with him mm-hmm. was very, very real, man. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah. 
for me to sit and I'm being very real with you. No, and you should. Oh, real man shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I can't sit in and allow someone to say that on my watch and not me not speak up. Now, mm -hmm. I'm not saying not, not to feel that way. I'm just saying I don't think he's a fraud because of my dealings mm -hmm. with him. Now, mm -hmm. I got punched around doing this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And I never really said anything about the brother. Mm -hmm. I've always said good words. You know what I'm saying? In, in his apology, he used my government name. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. Niggas don't write letters like that. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a buck, man. Niggas don't write letters like that. Hey, Terry.